the Ontario Knife Company SP1 Marine Combat Knife. This thing is a freaking sword. <laughs> it is, uh, what, 12.1, I believe, inches overall. Uh, seven of it is blade. It's a clip point, and it's kind of double-edged. There's uh, definitely some edge on the back end, or, or at the clip point. <laughs> it does have a nice deep uh, blood groove, and a uh, really good ergonomics on the on the handle it's uh, very non-slip <laughs> I believe you could probably use this regardless of how wet slimy whatever your hands happen to be it's uh, close to a pound like 10 point something ounces of uh, 1095 powder coated steel carbon steel so uh, Definitely not something you'd want if you're in like a real humid climate, or if so, you know, take according precautions. The knife itself, I know, is 100% made in America. Um, I can't say the same for the, uh, the sheath, which is very nice, uh, or for the box. Either one of those could have been made in, uh, in the China. Uh, it has a very nice lanyard, very sturdy. Uh, it's a full tang knife. Uh, encapsulated uh, if you don't know the difference between a regular full tang and like an encapsulated go to like Google and uh, they can pull you some pictures up that would explain show you better than I could possibly explain it but a uh, very solid knife uh, I haven't had this one for very long but uh, I have taken it on a few trips with me I've put it through a little bit of use and it's as sturdy as I would expect from a slab of steel that size and for, I think it was 37 bucks. So it's a deal. A steal. Steal of a deal. Uh, the sheath is really well made. It's uh, some kind of leather or leather-like material and uh, nylon. Uh, it has a lot of different points that you can use to, uh, to mount it to uh, whatever gear you happen to be mounting it to backpack your pants boot bike if you uh, happen to uh, be in the backcountry and uh, on a motorcycle or a bike what have you and uh, this, this would definitely be something that could attach to that it has a uh, really tight lockup once it's in there and it does have a double clasp so once it's in it's not going anywhere and it's it's pretty sturdy I mean I'm not Hulk handsing it to try and yank it out but it's not going anywhere once it's in it's a uh, it's for 37 bucks I'd say it is exactly what you would expect it to be uh, plus maybe a little bit I don't know that it's bomb proof but uh, I'm not planning on testing it necessarily quite that heavily for uh, for the money it's not a bad way to go 